Well, um, you know, you've read it from, I don't know what version that will be, maybe an ultimine in the Amplified said something here. It says, um, finally, believers, whatever is true, honorable, worthy of respect, right, confirmed by God's word, whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, admirable and of good repute, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think continually mm. on these things. In other words, center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. That's the amplified version. Of every other thing, if you read all those, you'll find out they become eight in number. Mm. And from what I have here, those are eight anchor laws. And I'll, because of the time, I'll just pick one, the law of excellence. Okay. And most, most believers, it will be that we could be having all the rest of the seven, God giving us grace, working on them bit by bit. But Paul speaking to the Philippian church, there are many finalists that uh, he begins to you know, sign out of his letter. But when he speaks to the Philippian church, when he's signing out, he is now speaking not just to them as a church, but to believers, all of us here. So he says, finally, believers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, worthy of respect, right, and confirmed by God's word, mine would be to leave you with the law of excellence. Because then doing things the right way as opposed to just doing right things mm. would begin to bring the difference between excellence and maybe what you would call mediocrity. And it's part of the Christian ethic or the character of the Christ. Mm. You notice um, in one place, Jesus is about to feed people and they were so hungry and everyone was clamoring for food. But he told his disciples, let them sit down and he ordered they are sitting to be men on one side and let them be seated at a particular way. And then he brought the miracle of the food. He just didn't because he was a miracle worker and he would supply bread and he would be able to do every other thing, just distribute. And so the law of excellence might seem as if it is outward or is something that is wildly mostly carved out from maybe leadership, the marketplace and ETC, but the law of excellence is important in signing out a letter to the church to an extent that it says, um, while you're centering your mind in every other thing that is admirable, that is right, that is peaceable, that is confirmed by God's word, that will be including miracles, signs and wonders, maybe even preaching like this one, he says, do not forget, excellence and he says if there is any excellence if there is any worthy of praise think you know it's interesting that he didn't say pray hmm. we love prayer we are believers and we communicate to god through prayer but he said think mm -hmm. and so the place of thinking goes beyond just the mental framework of engaging your mind but also in the practice of meditation and upgrading yourself to the place where the spirit of excellence can come. In Daniel, they sought for whoever would interpret dreams, whoever was powerful enough to get into the mind of the king, fish out his dream, which is not communicated, mm. and then bring the interpretation. But as much as Daniel was found to be with a gift, very deep prophetic gift, and to interpret all that in his commentary when they were giving his CV to the king, they said an excellent spirit mm. was found in Daniel. Mm. Meaning he didn't just barge into the king with a revelation because he had, he had won. He didn't step on people. He had, he had the law to understand and the understanding to follow through. Maybe the state house, if you may, Mm. protocol to get to know how the king is approached how to talk yeah. how to communicate maybe even how to dress mm -hmm. he didn't show up like john the baptist you know in mm. in in, <laughs> in john the baptist he was his audience was outside mm. right outside uh, the back of the, of the city this one daniel he was talking to kings 
was presenting to kings and there is a language that kings understand prime ministers um you know businessmen uh, maybe even journalists would understand there's some language that you can still communicate within the law of excellence and every other person that has an ear or has an understanding or has an appetite for excellence would know hmm. somehow even the one that is not learned and that has not gone to school to that extent if they come and find mediocrity even in god's things and that's what paul is emphasizing i am signing out this letter in philippians but finally do not forget of these eight anchor laws whatever is right whatever is peaceable whatever is of good report and then he touches there excellence he says meditate think and initially he had said permit this mind that was in Christ to be in you meaning in other words there is a mindset that transformation by the word of god brings to a believer it's not just salvation getting to heaven it's not just um uh, praise and worship and it's good to have praise and worship come to church fellowship and all that but there is an excellence which is a type of character that you walk with monday throughout sunday mm. and when he says finally he is signing out that of everything that i might have taught all over this time this thought excellence be with you mm. and then he pens off the letter and so those will be my thoughts and that will be for for you each, each and every one of you that is watching at home the law of excellence mm. amen thank you amen thank you so much for sharing that i love the what you've brought out that um, excellence really is a spirit. It's not just an activity. Right. It should be a spirit in the life of every believer. Right. That we shouldn't just be aiming to do the right thing, but to do the right things rightly, rightly. and to do them well. Yeah. I think that's a great challenge to all of us here Amen. this morning Amen. in our relationships and how we deal with other people and how we behave, you know, at our workplaces and how we handle, you know, our finances <laughs> in our honesty with dealing with, you know, the authorities and all of that, that the spirit of excellence would be uh, within us. That is worthy of praise. And so thank you so much for that encouragement here this morning. I pray that you all are blessed and you can continue sending in your feedback to 22422. You can also reach us on our social media platforms. We're asking you to go ahead now and actually send in your prayer requests because when we get back, um, a Prophet John Haggai here is going to be praying over those requests. And so do go ahead and send those in right now. But for now, we're going to take a music break and we'll be back after this.